Hello everybody, AquaGear here, and yes, we are back on the single player world, Aqua's Adventure. It's been a very long time, I think I took maybe a month break from it. Personally, I have no idea why, because I'm having just as much fun as I used to, and one quick thing you might notice is, hey, my skin is different, yes, again, I've changed it once again, but this one is going to be a little bit more permanent. The other ones I was playing around with, I made them, and they sucked horribly, so I didn't keep them. But this one my friend made, um, yeah, he just made it, and I think it looks awesome. You can see the little Romanian flag in the corner, which, if you guys don't know, that's my country of origin, and it kind of just looks like an army suit. But anyway, I have a few things to talk about with you guys. Um, what's been going on, why I haven't been doing it, and what I've been doing uh, while playing survival. But while we do that, I'm going to go build the little automatic thing for that chicken farm, so... For the past, um, uh, for the past actually month or so, I've been playing on a server called Surgecraft. So, that is, um, an SMP started by me and I think three or four other people. So, I've been having a lot of fun on there. I've been playing hours and hours and hours every day on that server. It really is a great server. So, that's why I haven't been playing single player around here because I've been doing single player there. So that's all fine and dandy. Um, so yeah, that's the reason I haven't been doing survival. It kind of just says it right off the bat. Uh, what else? And honestly, I think that's really about it. And what I'm doing right now is I'm, I want to add a clock to this so it can make it automatic instead of using a stupid lever. Because that takes so long. So if we do this, like that. And yeah, guys, I just haven't been doing Ox Adventure because again... I've been doing a lot of single player elsewhere, and I just kind of got bored for a while, but now I really have the motivation to get back. Since I've been playing on Surge, I've been wanting to do huge projects like gold farms, uh, redstone farms, everything. But the problem is a lot of people on that server don't have amazing computers, and they can't handle it. So what I decided is, you know what, if I want to get my fix of redstone, I'm going to have to come on this world and get it done here. So, yep. Uh, I actually haven't decided what we're going to be doing today. I just decided to kind of hop on, talk to you guys a little bit, and just tell you kind of what's been going on. And I probably forgot a million things, but oh well. Can't, you know, I'll put my chest back on, I guess. So real quick, guys, I'm going to cut out. I'm going to figure out what we're going to be doing today, and I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, welcome back. So I've decided the two things we are going to be doing today. One is pretty simple, and the other one's going to take a little bit of work. Um, yeah, so the first thing is you probably noticed I've cleared out this room, and we are going to be putting things in certain... Yep, I, we're going to be putting certain things in each room, my bad. So here's the, here are the things I had in this main room that shouldn't be here. So first, this is the furnace room, so obviously we're going to put furnaces. And if you guys are wondering what this is, I think this was like episode 10 or something. Back, it was right when we moved in here. There was a flower that always sat on my bed outside for some reason, and I never bothered to take it down. Every episode I would say, oh, okay, I'll remove that flower, and I never did. So I moved it in here. Now it's a special flower. It's just kind of it. But again, this is our furnace room, so let's add some furnaces. That's pretty obvious. Like that. And we're just going to avoid the windows altogether. If there's a window, I'm not going to put furnaces on it. That would just kind of be weird. And I will get three more furnaces there, but that's it for the furnace room for now next what's this other room enchanting and anvil room okay so I, again i want to save as much space as i can so let's try to put it maybe in this corner like that put that in there like that and like that now of course i'll be adding those two and anvil right there perfect all right that's it for this room have in this room potion and nether so there's really nothing much to put here except our nether portal which i'll put right here just for now like that except i can't get up one two okay there we go and it's gonna be sticking out of the house for now but again we're gonna be adding a roof to this house so it's not a big deal and i'll like that in a little bit and guys remember this isn't permanent either so it's just gonna until I get more things, that's just going to stay like that. And lastly, for now, 
this, I've decided over like this path past month, my bad, that this is going to be a room for special mobs. I always loved collecting weird mobs, like zombies with pumpkins on their head, uh, different mobs with like enchanted armor, swords, stuff like that. So this is this is going to be a room dedicated to that. But for now, I'll keep it as my bedroom because I don't have a bedroom yet. And this big room is going to be all decorative. But of course, we're going to have to do that later because we've got to get the rest of the house sorted out. And the second thing I wanted to do today was I'm going to be building an automatic food farm. It's going to be a chicken farm. It's a design very well known by almost everybody because it's one of the main farms everyone uses to get food. So it's just going to be one other thing crossed off, off the list for automation. But guys, I have no idea what I'm going to need. So I'm going to actually look up the tutorial, get all the materials needed, and I'll build build it on camera with you guys. So real quick, I'm going to get the materials together. Okay, so I have gotten all the materials together to build the automatic chicken farm. So these, this is everything we need. We need just uh, chest dispensers, glass, building blocks, lava bucket, carpet, redstone, a repeater, comparator, and some hoppers. So that's really all we need to build it. It's actually pretty cheap. I mean, I'm not too far in this world and I can still build it fairly easily. And uh, I had so much trouble actually getting ma these materials though because I, I didn't have enough uh, redstone and stuff so I actually had to go mining again and so I did it off camera and I did manage to get a few things but wow I got frustrated I, I managed to get 10 more diamonds more gold more uh, iron to actually make the hoppers lapis but what happened is I actually died twice in lava but both times I was very very lucky um, that I could get to land and dig a hole and die right there. So I actually died twice and I had to retrieve my stuff, but in the end I got it all well. So let's get started on building this thing. So the f it's it's a three by five. So let's see. Yeah, I think I should place the chest here. A hopper. Uh, let's see. Again, I'm not perfect at building this either. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and then we gotta fill in all the rest. Next, oh darn, I forgot slabs, didn't I? Okay, well, let's just run back and get some slabs. I forgot my slab. All right, slabs, perfect. I hope this is how you build it. I kind of forgot, and of course, I am following the tutorial. It's just I can't watch the tutorial while recording. That's the only problem. But anyway, uh, next, you put the dispenser up here. No, not back there. Right here, and then you take that. Yep, like that. All right. Next, we gotta get our glass and more blocks. So we gotta put a glass block here and three on either side. Next, we have to put uh, a repeater into this block and one over there, and then a comparator. Also, not to forget, Make sure to put this in the other setting and put a ring of redstone like that. So that is, I think, like the first two layers. Now we have to get the hop. So the first hopper has to go on top of it directly and then two hoppers behind it. Then we take more glass, put one there, then three blocks, one, two, three, one, two, three, and take our lava and now we can put it in here. Then okay, we take more of our, our specific building block and fill in the rest of this layer just like that. Now we take more of our glass, I think this is the last two pieces, and place it like that. Then we take our carpets. We only need three pieces, but I brought six just in case. Three like that. And once again, we grab our building blocks and place a little ring around the entire thing just like this. There, that's another layer done. Well guys, as you saw there, the actual build is pretty easy, it doesn't take a lot of material, it can be done pretty quick, and this is the entire machine. Um, the last clip over there I forgot to talk, I don't know why, when I was watching the tutorial I pressed quit and I started building, but I totally forgot to talk for some apparent reason. But yeah, this chicken farm is really compact and I'm just going to explain it 
uh, a little bit what it does. So up there is a little compartment for cedar chickens. Those chickens are going to lay eggs and they're going to go into this dispenser. They're going to shoot out the egg and the, a baby chicken will land right there. When it grows up, it'll get burnt and all its stuff will go in here. So it's pretty simple. And whenever um, an egg goes in this, it'll automatically fire, which is the great thing. So it is automatic. And you might say, oh, well, you need to put eggs in there first. Well, yes. But if you remember a, couple, a while episodes ago, well, it didn't make any sense. I built this egg farm right here. So we have tons and tons of eggs that we are going to be getting. So all we have to do is put cedar chickens in there and they'll automatically start. But of course, uh, we're going to need more cedar chickens than just four, four stacks of eggs. But slowly... Uh, slowly and slowly we'll keep gaining and gaining and gaining and sooner or later we'll have enough to feed us for days but real quick let me make a trap door like that perfect and let's go finish off the last part there's one last thing I didn't do because I didn't have the material but I will do it right now and also I'm gonna build like a little staircase up like this and put a trap door right here so this is where we're gonna throw our cedar chickens in all I have to do is this. Come on, chickens. Okay, there's one chicken. Two chicken. And yes, I'm probably going to make this... Oh, okay, well, there goes one chicken. Probably going to make this automatic in the end. So I'll put, like, dispenser right here, and it'll just shoot in automatically. Again, just like that one. But that'll be later. Let's just finish off these last couple eggs. Only 16 more. Okay, another chicken flew out. But we'll just kill those two. It's okay. Come here. Come here, little bugger. Where? Wow, this guy. This guy's a ninja. Did you see that? Anyway, so those chickens are going to grow up, start laying eggs, and those will become chicken food. And for the last time again, I'll fill it up over time. It'll keep gaining and gaining. So, yeah, guys, I'm really glad to be back on this world. It's been a lot of fun since I came. I've died already twice, which made me rage almost. But, you know what? That's part of Minecraft. That's what makes it fun, and I will never... Um, what's the word for it? Yeah, I have no idea what word. But that does not matter. I'm back, and I'll be doing more episodes on here soon. Also, diversity. Haven't done that for about a month. I will be releasing an episode of that really soon. I'm actually going to go record that right now after I get done with this one, after editing and everything else. So, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment as it supports my channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.